Welcome back to the channel and uh, today I got a special treat for you. We are going to do some A-B testing on series versus parallel uh, solar panel configuration for your off-grid or uh, RV application. So this should be fun. Let's uh, talk about the setup here in the backyard. We've got uh, four identical uh, rich solar 24 volt panels, 200 watts each. And running in 24 volt means that I'll just lift one up here real quick so you can see the specs. Just feel free to pause it if you want to see. Basically, uh, 45 volts open circuit, 37.6 for the maximum power point. And as you can see, I've got it on this uh, balance beam that my daughter uses sometimes for gymnastics to try and keep it all somewhat similar, the same. Uh, weather conditions. I would call it bright cloud. Again, with the uh, identical test setup here, I've got a 200 amp hour lithium battery uh, with uh, Bluetooth and JBD BMS. These are some batteries we sell. Also, for the chargers, identical MPPT 100 volt 50 amp uh, capable chargers. And we're monitoring those via Bluetooth. So those are the setups there. This series of panels are set up in series. I don't have the negative connection connected yet. I will do that once we commence. And uh, this side is parallel. So I have these parallel Y connectors connecting each uh, panel connected in parallel. So this side will be running at about anywhere between 37 and 45 volts, maybe even a little lower, we'll see. And this side will be running at 80 to 70, somewhere in there. Now let's uh, talk about how we're going to be monitoring all these. I have this scientific setup here where one side is one and the other side is the other. Oop. And I have it set up with a GoPro and I will put that video in one of the corners here. Actually, no, I won't because the GoPro video had glare and you can't even see one of the screens. So we can monitor that at all times while we change the conditions here because I've seen other tests where someone will take a, one set of panels and do something different. But our weather is changing so fast today. You can even see some blue sky starting to pop out there. So I really think it's important to do the A-B testing at the same time. So let's connect these up and just see at least what we're pulling right now. Then to figure out which side is which, I'm going to connect up one side of the panels then go over there and uh, see which of my phones is lighting up. Okay, we connected this one up and no magic smoke yet, so that's good. We don't ever want magic smoke, just so you know. Alright, perfect. I got them. Uh, so the phone on this side is the series. And you can see uh, this is typical MPPT behavior. It is hunting for the maximum power point. So we got to get on here because these batteries are at about 90% state of charge. So it won't take long for them to get filled up. So as you can see, they are almost all at the same angle as much as I can reasonably do. Let's go over here and see what the difference is so far. Interesting. Oh, it's hunting. It's hunting. So it looks like series so far is kicking parallels, but now it just got a little sunnier. All right, parallel is sorting it out, sorting itself out. Okay, now we've almost got, look at it, we've got some direct shadows here now. So we are coming into some really full sun. Look at this, we can see some sh direct shadows. And from what I'm seeing there, I would say Series is winning here. Wouldn't you have to say? Now, I've got this board here. 
What do you think I'm gonna do with that? Well, let's let's do a little bit of partial shade. I feel like that's about as even as I can get it. So this is partial shade across all of them. Ooh, it is not happy about that one bit. It's gotta refigure everything. Wow, look at that. I mean, that really tells you right there. Uh, any way you slice it. You do, you partially shade just one cell or one cell group and you're in bad shape for your solar production. That's what we're getting. That's all I did to it. And it does look like all parallel is handling that just a little bit better. Kind of depends on where you want your extra watts. Actually, okay, now we're, well, I don't know. Well, they're hunting. I would say it's neck and neck. All right, now I've got another experiment. All right, let's take uh, this off. And let's do where we cover up just part of one. I should probably trying to make things as fair as I can here. That's the test setup. Let's see what the data shows. I guess you probably already see because I've got the data there. And boy, neck and neck here. Really. Now we've got almost full sun. Look at that shadow there. Well, we've got this full sun. I don't even see much of a difference. We've almost got some edge of cloud. Let's get rid of that and let's see in ideal conditions what the difference might look like. I don't know. Honestly, pick your poison here. Uh, looks like in ideal conditions, perfect conditions, we get about 15 more watts. Okay, we got uh, both of those. That's the setup. And here's the output. And to me it looks like Ceres is beating it just a little bit. So there you have it, uh, again, uh, I think, I don't know this is, this is all that definitive. Uh, I think this reinforces what I've been saying for a while, which is the benefits with modern panels with blocking diodes that are built into them. I mean, they've engineered these panels to be as shading tolerant as they can be, which is not much as we saw. Uh, if you cover completely just a little bit of a panel, uh, it knocks the production way, way down. If you have uh, some suggestions on other things we could try, uh, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Otherwise, until next time, we'll see you later, and uh, stay charged.